over some uh, we'll go over what's going on on the CNFT space we didn't really have much chance to cover that uh, the other night so much going on on VeChain right now um, but at any rate we'll cover uh, everything CNFT so we'll just do a, a quick overview of what's been happening um, with the top CNFTs here and Space Buds still number one, Clay Nation still number two, uh, Yummy Universe still number three. It's not going to take long, in my humble opinion, for uh, Pavia Pavia to to jump up to that spot, and then Zombie Chains has been climbing this ladder like crazy. They're uh, 2.453 million, and Dead Pixels is 2.463 million, so I suspect uh, it won't be long before Zombie Chains uh, tick up to number five, and... I think that they will end up taking over number three, and it'll be a little while before they, if they get to uh, the top three, because they have Pavia, Clay Nation, and Space Buds to contend with. Um, so, here in the last 24 hours, we've had the uh, Makosi, Makasi, however you want to say that, is doing very well. I don't know if... Uh, any y'all got in on that, but they're selling like hotcakes, as you can see. Uh, let's see. Another big one of the last week. Goat Tribe's doing really well. Holy smokes. A couple days ago, I was buying some goats uh, for 60 in the 50s, and then the next day I looked, the floor was 100. Then, next thing I looked, it was up to 140, and now we're back down to... Uh, looks like 103 but that's been a very good project and it's it's been a fun project the goat communities uh, they're pretty fun people um, of course Pavia is doing really well you can look so if you go over to their website and you look on the map you can see all the estates on here and, and um, this is growing rapidly it seems like every time I get on here, there's more and more estates. So uh, don't sell your land for too cheap. Um, the way this is growing, I mean, there was just a sale for 12000 ADA the other day, their highest sale. Um, where are we at here? Yeah, 12000 ADA sale, highest sale right there. Um, I never... I. I I keep on meaning to look and see what piece of land that was that sold for 12,000 ADA. Um, I think it was yesterday. Maybe, maybe it was two days ago. I don't remember. But I just remember thinking, wow, that's there we are. So 90 minus 46. So you can just come over here, type it in, coordinates, 90... Minus 46. Go to coordinate. Okay, so it was. Somebody needed that probably to um, complete their estate because you can't. I mean, you can click on my land, you have your wall linked to it, and um, you can't do anything really unless you have an estate. So this is going to become extremely hot here. Uh, as time goes on, I believe. So, something to keep your eye on. Don't sell short on those. Um, yeah. So, uh oh, how did we get so far down there? Um, what was I? Oh, uh, no, not voodoo. Uh, um, well, where are we at here? Ugly Bros. So their drop was, I don't know, last Monday or something. And 
and they had it done in, in waves. They dropped the address for people in uh, OGs, 0 to 300 on Discord, 3 to 500, 500 to 1,000, 1,000 to 2,000, I think. Well, people were sharing the address too much, and a lot of people, even in the top uh, top 300 people on Discord, didn't even get to mint one because of so much address sharing. So they ended up having to randomize who minted and who didn't and I was in the 1000 to 2000 and my transaction went through and unfortunately it got uh, it got overlooked and sent back to me not overlooked it just got rejected because it, at that point they were uh, going random on that so they got another drop coming up here I think uh, at the end of this month or early December so they're gonna I think it sounds like they're gonna do it a little bit differently and Um, yeah, they're just going to do it a little bit different, maybe collect addresses so that everybody who rightfully should be able to mint one will be able to mint one. So, anyway, that's kind of what's been, been going on here. Zombies are, are kicking butt, goat tribes, ugly bros, you know, uh, everything here in the top ten is doing really well, obviously. That's why it's in the top ten, right? Uh, so... Here, we'll just go down my list here on the Discord of what I'm looking at here coming up. Lion Legends. So, the Lion Legends have another drop coming up here in, I don't know, December. Um, December 3rd, I think? 5th? I don't know. We'll find it here. Uh, okay, important information for whitelist and airdrop. So, we're very excited to share with you that our next drop is planned for second week of December. More will be shared as we approach the launch date. So, the whitelist requirements, I don't know if you've read over that. Uh, so, if you hold one lion for three weeks prior, they're going to do a snapshot on the on the launch date of all the wallets. So if you've held the lion for three weeks, you will be able to mint. Um, you I guess you'll pretty much be whitelisted. Um, yeah, so it hold it for at least three weeks or longer prior to launch. So if you minted or just bought one on mint day, because that you know a lot of people didn't get a lion because that got hacked and blah 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 so anyway they're gonna do a snapshot on the day of launch and you will be able to mint one and then going forward from there it says we will give the airdrop to a thousand wallets that are holding drop one and drop two the longest what does this mean this would be the sum of days holding the first drop and days holding the second drop for example if you are holding drop one sixty days and Drop two for 30 days, the sum would be 90 days. If 90 days is long enough to be among the top 1,000 of the longest holders, you would get an airdrop. So if you hold one still from minting day, you're obviously going to be in the top 1,000, you know, if there's less than 1,000 people. Um, and then if you mint uh, season two, then, and you don't sell that, then you're going to, odds are you're going to end up getting airdropped. Uh, on that airdrop of a thousand so lions have got that going on um nerds and virgins they've had some they, they had some issues i think they got hacked and they had some of their nfts that were actually they ended up on cnft and uh so they postponed it 48 hours then they ended up postponing it um until who knows but now they have a launch date of the 26th of November so if you're interested in the nerds and virgins then first drop 26 November 5 p.m. UTC which would be what 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if I'm not mistaken which would be 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time uh, for those of us who are in the United States um, I, I know a lot of people are bailing out of that because of the 
um, issues that they've had, but I think I'm still going to go for it. I'm going to go try to mint one, probably just one, and see how that goes. Um, what else? Zombie chains. I love the zombies. You know, that's kind of, yeah, I just, I love the zombies. There's nothing more I can say. Um, what? Oh, no, zombie. Okay, sorry. Why is it not going to zombie chains? There we go. Okay, so, you all know about the zombies. Oh, and nerds and virgins are going to kind of follow how zombies did it, uh, as far as just not having a rarity. They'll be on um, CNFT tools, but they will not have rarities assigned. It'll all be NA, like the zombies, and they're going to kind of follow that that path, because that's worked really well for the zombies, plus the zombies is really, really good artwork, uh, in my opinion. So, anyway, announcements. Um, oh, where are we at? Uh, 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 for their next drop. Everyone, we know that everyone is very interested in what's next. We aren't ready to share a lot of details yet. We can share this. We've already named our next drop. So, zombies, they got some stuff coming in the woodwork. So, Definitely keep your eye on that if you're into the zombies. Um, you know, they're, the zombies have a pretty big community. They're uh, they're letting the owners, you know, kind of run the show, which is really cool, and that's it's taken off real well. Um, oh, where are we at now? Okay, here's a new drop that we got coming up on November the 30th. Ada Apocalypse, another. Uh, zombie project mint price 34 ADA on the 30th of November. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I I like these. I'm into these. I don't know. I I just I like the zombies. So they've been verified on Genesis House and now Tokan, and they're just waiting on CNFT. So yeah. They got a, a pub quiz going on. Test your CNFT knowledge coming on um, Friday the 26th at 7 p.m. UTC. So if you're interested in that, trying to win some, well, I suppose they're going to give away some some NFTs or something. But uh, anyway, something to keep your eye on. There's 4,000 of these zombies at 3488 ADA apiece. I suspect that they're gonna go fairly quickly that's just my humble opinion or their community is growing um, yeah so we got them coming up you don't want to don't want to miss that um, let's see what else was I gonna cover here uh, I know I remember I'm gonna go down to um, Ada punks. OG Punks on Cardano. Load. Um, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So they got a new, uh, fancy new website you want to check out. They got wallet linking, in house rarity tools, interactive rarity chart, recently listed ticker. Um, all kinds of good stuff. You want to check that out. So, I don't know if anybody's been following or not, but they have uh, a new drop coming for Punks holders. Please to announce we will shortly be minting the Ada Punks Charles Hoskinson collage community collectible piece, skillfully made by our own Mikey J. Blige. Uh, this token will be available to all punks. A snapshot date by which a wallet needs to hold punks to be eligible will be announced soon. We will charge 10 ADA for your copy and proceeds will go towards a kickstarting our long-awaited community chest. Um, then they had a vote whether people wanted uh, border and rarity or um, if people just wanted it quick. And it looks like pretty overwhelmingly people wanted uh, the border and rarity so I, I know that's what I voted for 
Um, so, yeah, that's going to be something cool, kind of a, a commemorative piece that they're going to have just for Punk's holders. Um, let's see, I think that's, uh, that's about all the projects that we're going to cover right now. A um, lot, lot going on, really. Um, and then I just wanted to quickly go over um, CNF2, CNFT with their upgrade that they had, which a lot of people were having issues. I know I was having issues with it um, on the mobile version for the first, uh, I don't know, five, six days. But they got that all straightened out, and they have implemented auctions and offers now and you can filter through those you know if you don't want to look at the auction ones or or if you only want um, NFTs that are that people are selling that are open to offers you can filter it that way and then oh, look at that guy I like him I like him you know there's a few that I that I'm kinda in love with and one of one of them is the cat in the hats I I love those cat in the hats. I think they're cool. Um, and I don't even see any on here. But well, maybe nobody's selling any. Maybe maybe everybody else likes them too. I know I've got a handful of them. Oh, that guy right there. I love that guy. I love that guy. I love that guy. They're just clean looking... NFTs, it's nice artwork. Um, so anyway, they got that going where you can put in offers and uh, and then it looks like with this upgrade they've they've got uh, oh, maybe it's when you sell. Maybe it's only when you go to sell that the off the option for uh, a smart contract instant swap is there. Um, but maybe, yeah, maybe that's only if you're listing, you can, uh, opt, well, you can't opt for it right now. But it seems to me that soon they're going to have that smart contract option on there so um, you don't have to go through the ever so lovely Yo Roy wallet. I hate Yo Roy. I know that everybody hates Yo Roy. So hopefully they will get these smart contracts enabled soon so that um, we don't have to deal with that anymore we just make a purchase we get it we make a sale we get it and it'll just be clean cut smooth and to the point so anyway that's uh, that's all we got today thank you for tuning in and uh, go follow my twitter page I do a lot of giveaways on there I'm going to do a big one when I get to a thousand followers. So, yeah, that's all I got. Tricky Boom, over and out.